Given the United States' commitment to internet freedom as articulated by Hillary Clinton in January, does Australia's proposed internet filter threaten our relationship in any way? And can the United States continue to put pressure on Iran and China over internet freedom if they don't similarly pressure Australia? Jeff, that's obviously... <laughs> It has been reported the State Department's quite concerned about the government's yes. plans no, no, no. that filter, so... Uh... No, I was just noticing. This, is, this seems to be the hot seat tonight. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think I could... You know, I went to the dentist today, so I thought I'd already done this. But uh, my... Well, well, look, on the, on the issue of, um, of, of the Internet, uh, we have been very clear. The Internet needs to be free. It needs to be free the way we have said skies have to be free, outer space has to be free, the polar caps have to be free, the oceans have to be free. They have to be shared. They're shared resources of all the people of the world. Um, to the extent that there are disagreements and trying to find the right balance between law enforcement and, and, and respecting that general principle, uh, we work with our friends. And so we've been working with uh, Australia on this issue. We've had healthy discussions and we're, we're I'm sure we'll be able to find a path forward. What did you say to them? <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'm sure we'll be able to find a path forward. <laughs> uh, now, presumably, uh, you, you have made the State Department's argument, which is that internet filters are essentially censorship and a bad idea. Well, what we've said is that um, we have been able to accomplish uh, the goals that Australia has described, um, which is to capture and, and, and prosecute child pornographers mm. and others who use the internet for terrible purposes without having to use internet filters. So we have other means and we are willing to share um, our efforts with them in order to allow them to at least look at a range of choices as opposed to moving in, in one particular direction. It's an ongoing conversation and again, as Tanya was saying, we learn a lot from each other. We're learning things from Australia in these discussions and they're learning things, I hope, from, from the United States. Let's hear from Joe Hockey uh, briefly on this because um, you, you, you do object to the internet filter yourself as far as I understand it. Well, uh, Although the coalition doesn't have a set policy on this so you're out there on your own. Well, well <laughs> no. <laughs> Tony, no. Oh. It's going to come as a surprise. Okay. No. Who, who um, else are you out well, there with? Well, well <laughs> no, no. Let, let me just say this. We're waiting to see the legislation and the, the government hasn't put forward yet. But from, from my perspective, I totally agree. I totally agree about the internet. We all want to close down uh, and prosecute and put in jail people involved in peddling child pornography and other horrendous materials. The question is, how do you do it? And the proposal from the government is potentially going to make the internet slower. It is going to potentially close down legitimate sites that are being used by people. It could have, uh, you know, an impact on other sites. If, if there's a particular YouTube video, for example, uh, that is deemed offensive by the government, it may well slow down YouTube for all Australians. Uh, these are the sorts of things that haven't been addressed. And the material will still be distributed by email and by a range of other mechanisms that can be used apart from the traditional HTTP addresses. And that's why I think we should go back to what we proposed, and that is about families having filters provided to them in the home and people accepting personal responsibility for what goes on in their own home, rather than expecting Canberra to do it. OK, I'm going to get a response, uh, a brief response from Tanya Kubizek on behalf of the government. Well, well Joe, people taking responsibility in their own homes is one thing if they and they want to not look at child pornography and they don't want their kids to look at child pornography, but if they want to look at child pornography, a home-based filter isn't going to make much difference. No, no, that, that, we, that's... Well, you, you were just confusing two issues. Oh. The, the... <laughs> that's true. Well, no, if, you're if... actually prosecuting now, quite appropriately, anyone in possession of child pornography. That's been yeah. going on for years. It's against the law. Yeah. What you're saying is you're a partial solution that's going to fail and, because it opens and, and up... You, and you're saying that domestic filters that people can choose to put on will pick up child pornography. And I'm saying it will only pick up child pornography if you apply a filter. It won't pick it up if it's sitting in the internet, oh, no. right? And th the reason that we're trying to shut down this material, it's material that you can't go to the shop and buy, it's material you can't access legally in any format. Um, it is a difficult issue. I understand the, the technological... Um, complexities. I understand people fear the slowing down. Um, I don't know that there is a, 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 an easy solution to this and I'm you know, interested to hear of the US experience but certainly there's still a lot of 
child pornography available that's generated all over the world that people are accessing in the United of States. Of course. They won't, so, this won't stop the child pornography. This will not stop the child pornography, your proposal. What it will do is it mean it'll go in other directions and hopefully the uh, law enforcement John, agencies will crack down. I, okay. I actually think reducing the demand for child pornography is... I, I'm, I'm agreeing that it might not stop every single instance of this around of the world. Of course we want to stop that. reducing isn't, the isn't demand for it is quite important. Yeah. Uh, OK, it's time to move, move along now.